hi everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're a new subscriber you're highly welcome to tasty city if you are yet to subscribe please consider subscribing by clicking on that red button there that says subscribe and also put on the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video and to my old returning subscribers i truly appreciate you all so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make these cassava bowls they tasted so delicious if you're interested to see how i made this keep watching and please don't forget to click the like button so let's get started for this recipe I'll be using two big fresh cassavas and I'll start by cutting and peeling the cassava yeah so I just cut mine into two but however if yours is as big as mine you can cut them into three that way it's more easier to handle during the peeling process and you want to be very careful so you don't hurt yourself with the knife after peeling the next step is to give them a very good wash Okay guys, so after rinsing, what I like to do is to soak mine with enough water for two days and this will help get rid of the cyanide in the cassava. Now, if you don't have two days, you can at least let it soak overnight, that is a day, but I always like to soak mine for two days and each day I will come back to change the water. Okay guys, so this is two days later, I'm just going to rinse this out and we are ready to grate. The next step is to grate the cassavas and you want to make sure you are using the smallest part of the grater and be careful not to grate your fingers. Okay, so if you are using the smallest part of your grater, they should look exactly this way. So what I'm going to do now is just to repeat the same process until I'm done grating the whole of the cassava. I'm done with the grating process and the next step is to get rid of all the water in the cassava. I'm going to be doing this with a chiffon cloth. You can also use a cheesecloth, a muslin bag, a nut milk bag or you can as well use your hand to get rid of all the water if you don't have any of those bags. Getting rid of all the water in the cassava is very important so please do not skip this step. Now, there are two versions of these cassava balls, the hard balls and the medium hard balls, yeah. So if you are going for the harder version, you have to get rid of all the water in the cassava 100%. If you are going for the medium hard balls, then you have to get rid of the water at least 95%. So please make sure you get rid of all the water in the cassava. I don't know how many times I have said this, but it is very important. Once that step is completed, I'll transfer the cassava into a bowl and I'm going to be fluffing this up with my hands.
The next step is to add in some chopped onion. I like adding chopped onion instead of blended or grated because adding chopped onion or grated onion will add more moisture to this and we don't want that. The next step is to add some chopped scotch bonnet pepper for some heat. If you don't tolerate heat, you can skip this or you can add some black or white pepper. Once that step is completed, I'll add in some salt to taste and I'll give this a very good mix. So once the mixing process is completed, the next step is to mold them into small balls with your hands in between your palms, just like this. I'm done with the molding process and it is time to fry the balls. So over here I've got some vegetable oil preheating. To that I'll throw in some onion. It is totally optional but it does add a lot of onion flavor to the cassava balls. So now that the oil is heated up, at this point I'm going to gently add in the cassava balls. Once I'm done, I'm going to reduce my heat temperature to medium and I'll fry this on a medium heat for about 6 to 8 minutes. Very important not to overcrowd the pan, otherwise the heat temperature will drop, causing the cassava balls to soak a lot of oil. After dropping the balls, you want to make sure to stir this often for evenly brownness. At this point the cassava balls are ready, I'm going to take them off the heat, place them on a kitchen paper towel to absorb the excess oil. Just look at how beautiful they turned out. Just take a look at these guys and tell me this is not calling your name. At this point, I'll just repeat the same process with the remaining balls. So there you go guys, our cassava balls are ready and they tasted so delicious. You can enjoy them just the way they are or with some coconut. It tasted so delicious with coconuts. I hope you give this a try. And if you like this video, be sure to click the like button. If you've watched this point and you've not yet subscribed, please take a moment to click on that red button there that says subscribe and also click on the bell icon and choose the all notifications that will be notified whenever I upload a new video. I want to say a big thank you to you all for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye for now. Bye-bye.